Authorities in the Austrian city of Fels have slapped a curfew on young migrants in response to a series of sex attacks at a wine and beer festival. It came after underage asylum seekers from Afghanistan assaulted 17 women at the Velsa Volksfest. We spoke to the city's mayor. The refugees has now the allowance uh, to leave their home till 8 p.m. and they accepted this requirement and there have to be strict sanctions if they break these rules. We had uh, the problem that female visitors of the festival were victims of sexual assaults. 17 women in the age between 18 and 50 years were abused on the festival in Wels. Their abusers were refugees from Afghanistan and these refugees were in the age between 15 and 16 years. One of these refugees were 23 years old. Till August, there already were 193 uh, complaints, and you see uh, it's already increasing all the time. It's just the latest incident of sexual assault involving refugees. A number of women were assaulted on New Year's Eve in the German city of Cologne. Similar cases were also reported during New Year's celebrations in Finland. In Sweden, five rapes and 12 sexual assaults were reported at a summer music festival with up to 35 sexual molestation complaints filed against foreign young men. Last summer in Denmark, refugees were charged with raping and groping women. The mayor of the Austrian city of Vels told us what he thinks needs to be done. To deal with sexual violence in the long term, we have to take some very important measures. First of all, we have to increase the number of the police officers and furthermore, we have to coordinate uh, the uh, private security with the police forces. Uh, we also think about more police in plain clothes and we think about uh, video surveillance uh, also on the festival and in the city of Wales. We have to make stricter rules for immigration in Austria and it's also very important that we control our borders quite strict. There is no sense that everybody can come here and we don't know who is coming. However, there's also fury at what some perceive as a growing witch hunt against asylum seekers. On Thursday, scores of Germans took to the streets to vent their frustration over the far-right policies of the anti-immigrant AFD party. Local police struggled to control the demonstrators. The protest comes amidst record national support for the AFD party. Political commentator Moanza believes that anti-migrant rhetoric is being exploited. Throughout Europe, over the last few years, we've seen the rhetoric against the uh, increasing numbers of refugees and migrants coming into Europe hardening. We've seen the far right in Austria gain massive traction politically. One of the key essential elements which they're using to uh, ramp up the rhetoric against some of the migrants is the idea that there are European women who are our women who are being somehow molested and, and raped and abused by incoming migrants. Now we know from European statistics in Britain and elsewhere across Europe that 90% of violence against women cases are done by people they know. These are not exclusively, exclusively uh, an issue that relates to migrants or immigrants or refugees who are coming in. And the idea that the far right are exploiting this to ratchet up tensions and to increase the, uh, the hate and the prejudice against refugees and migrants is absolutely disgusting and it's untenable. The prejudice against migrants and refugees is getting too far. When we've got to the point where we're saying that we have to have a curfew, that these people rape and attack our women, that we somehow need to protect them from these people. Domestic violence and abuse uh, is, a, is a problem across the board. And we need to support organizations and charities to tackle this. But at the minute in Austria, the far right are using this to increase the marginalization of foreign nationals who are coming to the country, 90% of whom the UN have said are escaping conflict and war and are looking for asylum. Coming up on RT International, alive and well after three days living in a forest, we bring you the story of a toddler who lived through his very own version of The Jungle Book.